I think being uh, persistent is most important. Persistent. The journey is very long, so and, and there are a lot of challenges, difficulty. Mm -hmm. uh, any time point you can you can give up, right? And only having the persistency can help you to overcome all those challenges and obstacles, mm -hmm. and also help you to learn and to grow every day. The persistency is by far, I think, the most important characteristics. And I also believe that uh, not only like you raise this uh, C fund, Series A, B, C, D, E, mm -hmm. and then go IPO, you you need to persistently keep going. Mm -hmm. So this, this this kind of mentality is what I believe, and doing do it every day is the most important. And if you improve what. 0.1% every day and the compound effect is, um, is tremendous. Yeah, so that, that is what I believe is the number one most important. Second, uh, being open-minded because I think company will grow over time and then your role also change over time. Being open-minded then you are able to accommodate and then also re recruit and a lot of great talents and then also accept a lot of great ideas. Mindset to build your CEO as a, or leader as a platform for people to shine. Because we are not just building a business, we are building a platform for talent to shine. Mm -hmm. So I have always think about in this way and then choose the best uh, one for you to help you grow. Mm -hmm. Being open-minded is also uh, super important. So, and also being open-minded, then you can, you, you can embrace the market that's beyond your home market. So then you will, that pretty much you, how big is your mind mm -hmm. is really determining your market size. And number three, I believe, is a, uh, being able to manage your priority very well. As an entrepreneur, we are always operating in a very limited resources. We are short of time, short, short of money, we are short of manpower. Everything we have, only when we as a leaders that we, we have very clear priority in terms of how we manage our time, mm -hmm. how we manage our goals, and also how we manage our markets and everything. Mm -hmm. We will be able to put the most important thing with sufficient focus. Mm -hmm. So I think first, like being persistent, second, being open-minded, third, having very clear priority. I think these are the three most important uh, attributes, I believe. Our company was found uh, in 2012. We start the founders actually start working on project together around 2010, 2011. So, so, and our dream was to realize AI in a practical uh, real world application. Mm -hmm. As you imagine, like AI as a field back then was was not really like now. Mm -hmm. uh, it was something that people don't think can be a business. And some it's an area people don't think it's a category. Mm -hmm. So in early days, we encountered a lot of difficulties. First, um, no one has ever imagined how AI can be implemented in business applications. So we pivot many times. Mm -hmm. We, I believe, we have a change pivot nine times. I remember we only have two months of cash left, but we still have to come to work every day yeah. with very calm manner. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine uh, nine times of value before our final product start uh, uh, taking off. Is it was very uh, uh, difficult because mm -hmm. everybody. We feel like everything you do has, in the last back then was love, everything we did for the last two years has been wrong. Uh, mm -hmm. or, or, but actually, it's not. It's because it gives you the, the energy and nutrition mm -hmm. to, to come up with the next. And we just keep going. And mm -hmm. I still remember less than one time that we, we are almost two months away from uh, mm -hmm. our cash. We are still want to do one last one to, to try. Mm -hmm. but, and we just uh, encourage ourselves. Just focus on the uh, the idea and execution. Don't don't fo get distracted. Uh, every minute now is very important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think number one, if you want to really achieve your dream and your goal so much, uh, transforming and learning new skill is just part of it, right? As long as you are willing to learn and you develop new capability and if that's helpful for you to achieve your, your dreams and then, then we are uh, people i think and as an entrepreneur then we are always we should be always willing to learn the, such kind of skill and capability and also broaden your role mm. uh, and you cannot be uh, because most important is like we have we in order to achieve success you cannot be a bottleneck of company right you have to grow mm. uh, you have to outgrow your company so so the company company will always continue to grow First of all, when you come to what kind of product to build, 
I think in, initially we also didn't know that, but along the way we really developed the understanding that most important is whether it has a poten good potential market. Mm -hmm. yeah, because you want to solve a problem that really matters for people. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in the, in the case, Cosex is trying to solve advertising automation, and then our most recent one, uh, Iris, is trying to help people to manage their customer data. Those are very important uh, topics for companies. We want to really focus on a topic or product area that really matter to people because when they not, not really matter to them that can really help them and then that will potentially define the size of a market i think i think size of market as a, a very one very important criteria and second you have to examine your own team uh, whether you have a capability to be differentiated in that area so I always believe that everyone should play their strengths rather than make up their weakness. <laughs> because make up your weakness is very difficult, right? Mm -hmm. But if you can really know what are your strengths and then combine the strengths of your team to, to play you, your strengths. In mm -hmm. our case, uh, we are AI scientists, so our every part of for us, the winning criteria is also whether we have better AI and mm -hmm. whether AI is important in that part. And so that is very important. So be, be, know your strengths and let your uh, strengths play to become your differentiator. And then that, that's the that's a, a, a second most important. And, and number three is to talk to customers. Customers are very important. So learning from customers, uh, learning the feedback from the markets mm -hmm. is very important for you to develop because uh, everything we, a lot of time when uh, especially engineers or probably uh, founding team, sometimes we focus too much on building a product but we forgot to link to the market. Yeah. And then also the first prototype we build is also not necessary. That actually all the product is evolving every day. So mm -hmm. we have to let it evolve. And the only way is to get in touch with market, get into touch with customers. So, so such that the external feedback become part of your innovation engine. Mm -hmm. And that, that is a very important aspect to allow us to continuously uh, innovate. I think in the very beginning, uh, when we just start, especially in the, in the 11 or 12 years ago, mm. where AI is not an attractive topic, there's simply no AI uh, company back mm. then. Um, that was very hard to convince people to uh, join, not only talent, but also investors and everything. So in the very beginning, we just tried to form a team that would not believe. Mm -hmm. the, these these uh, uh, missions and uh, that re really and also want willing to be willing to work together and go with a long route to to achieve this mission, and it's very important to pick a, a founding team or initial employee to be complement to each other. Not not just everyone is uh, the same strengths. Mm -hmm. You need really because uh, in a, in this uh, challenging uh, starting up time, you really need to have a very diversified uh, a capability in each aspect. Take, take our founding team as an example. Mm -hmm. I myself, my specialty is in, in machine learning algorithm and my co-founder is in data and systems. We, we complement to each other so we don't we, we can always share the view. And the other uh, co-founder, Winnie, she is specialized in, she is a much softer element. Uh, mm -hmm. Like but we are engineer and she is much softer element. She listens to people and can help us build uh, uh, HR and also this kind of uh, uh, operation and also company culture. Mm -hmm. So we complement each other in terms of capability and personality. So that makes us, while you are complementing each other and also respecting each other, uh, nothing can be better than a group of uh, very smart people that really work together and they can complement to each other and then can really focus on one goal. So I think that's the initial. And then never lower your standard when hiring. We always try to hire the, the best talent we can and always increase uh, because the best people attract the best people. That's a very important uh, aspect. And then you want to uh, build a culture that people are willing to work with and eager to work with people that are better than you. Uh, our company vision is uh, making AI easy by making software intelligent. When we talk about this like 10 years ago, people will say, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. uh, making software intelligence. Uh, and you are, uh, the, 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 they don't feel correlate uh, or, or link with this message. But now every software is in the face of become intelligent 2.0 version, mm. right? We are in a very exciting uh, 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 phase of time that every software eventually, every hardware will become AI based. And then uh, we want to be the key driver of this innovation. So mm -hmm. uh, our growth is number one, we want to keep producing the, those good products and modules that can really help use AI to help people 
make better decisions, mm -hmm. more automated, to improve their overall efficiencies. Mm -hmm. And those are the very important elements for us. We'll continue innovating in, in, in our space. And secondly, we think, we really hope that uh, there's really we can build a company that have that can scale globally. Mm -hmm. uh, we two years ago we scaled to U.S. market, start, start from zero, and within two years we grow to fourteen percent. So we we think that we can grow even even bigger. Uh, and then we want also not only U.S. We think that there are many many corners in the world that we haven't entered. Hopefully, we want to when people everywhere uh, in the important market in the world when people think about. Uh, intelligent version of the AI software, they can first think about us. That's what, something we want to achieve.